Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a doorknob. Pretty straightforward installation, but you may need a video that's fast that shows you how to do it. This doorknob is done. You can see that the uh, latch is not moving inside of the door, no matter what this is set to. So I am technically officially trapped inside of the house at this juncture. So <clears throat> if this has happened to you, the obvious first thing you're gonna need to do is go buy a doorknob, which I have one right here. I'm running with a Schlage. This is a Schlage key entry. Nice little doorknob. Picked it up at Lowe's for 60 bucks. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can grab one on Amazon though. Um, but yeah, the first thing you're gonna do is take the first uh, screw you see up here is a Phillips head screw. You're gonna take that one out there. And you're gonna take that one out down here. All right, so working on the last <laughs> screw here. <laughs> and this is starting to get real loose. So what's gonna end up happening is the knob's gonna fall off on the other side. <laughs> okay, so once the other doorknob falls through that direction, you need to get this latch to move that direction so you can get this piece out of here so the door can open. But in this case, this one is broken. So what would normally actuate the latch isn't working anymore. So take a look. You'll see here there's a tab up here and there's a tab down here. Okay, so once that's freed up, now you can get the door open and you can get to these two screws over here. So these come out. And you can take the rest of the junk out. That thing was pretty bad. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your striker back in and just be mindful of the direction of this piece right here. So if your door closes this direction, the striker has to strike back so it'll so this will push back in. So the sweeping edge of it will graze against the side of the door frame or this striker plate right here. So just be mindful of that. Don't put it in backwards. So it's easy. Just take it, slide it back in the same way it came out. This piece goes in first and it'll fit in this recessed uh, area here on the door. Two wood screws or two screws that look like this go in there. They're not the machine fine thread screws. They're these screws here. So these just takes two screws. Oh, and um, I know um, this is probably going to be a, probably going to get some hate comments on this, but don't use uh, a cordless drill or a screw gun on this. You can strip this stuff out so easily. And in my experience with these, like Quickset and Schlage, the heads that they use on this, uh, on these screws are very, very easily stripped out. And if you get one wrong bite on that screw gun, it's going to strip out your threads. It's going to make it hell to try to get this thing back out of here. So once that's in, don't let the door accidentally close, keep it open. You're gonna take your outside uh, doorknob first, that's the one with the key on it, and that's gonna be installed over here. So it, you're just basically putting it through the door and you're gonna hold it flush with one hand, just like that. Then you're gonna take your inside knob, and this is a little bit of a pain, like I mentioned in the previous clip, because you got these keyways. You got this keyway here, and you got this square keyway here. So this may take a second to align. You just kind of, I'm lightly pressing and just kind of turning at the same time and you'll feel it kind of want to go. Just like that. So it's a little bit of a, of an annoyance to try to get that together, but just take your time. Don't push too hard on that or force anything because you'll bend stuff. Take the first machine screw. And again, this should spin really freely. Don't, if it feels like it's cross threading, don't keep going. This, will, this should turn very easily and snug that top one up. Same thing on the bottom one. These are those machine screws with the fine threads. This one goes on the lower hole, real easy. and tighten this one up here. Okay, 
installation is finished. So now, right now I have the door on Schlage's lock position is horizontal. So right now when I push down, the door will not turn. If I come over here and unlock it, I can turn it here and check on the side where your striker is, make sure that that recess is in all the way, it doesn't hang up. So like if it's only going in that far, you've got something in there binding up. So make sure it goes all the way when you turn the knob and it should close easily. Just like that, obviously open it up. Now, one thing I also wanna note on these new Schlage knobs that weren't like this on our old ones, <laughs> we've locked ourselves out of the house many times, is that when you lock up for the night and you turn it to horizontal, you can't turn it, but the old knobs, if you could still turn this knob and it would stay locked on this position to open up the door. So you would go out the door forgetting to unlock it. You would try to go back in and it would stay locked. On these, lock is horizontal. If you turn the knob, you'll notice that the lock turns also and it'll stay vertical now. So now the lock is vertical and it's unlocked. So going from a lock position to unlock the door, you just turn the knob. Now that's there's pros and cons to that. The pros is that you can unlock your door easily and not lock yourself out of the house ever. But the cons are if you lock up for the night and you, go to, you wanna check your doorknob, you're never gonna be able to get that reassuring know that it's locked feeling. It's just gonna turn on you. So you have to understand that horizontal is locked. So I hope this video helps you guys out if you have a broken doorknob. This is definitely the way I've always fixed broken doorknobs. It happens from time to time, even with the best brands. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you on the next video.